Whoa! Do you see these moves, sir? She never lets me touch you, man. Will you let me touch you? Oh. Oh. Please tell me I got something to drink. Oh yeah, boy. So as you know, I use creatine and the thing about creatine, I have an unflavored version. I only sell that here, I've noticed. XXL Nutrition is really blended, it's boring. My creatine is actually finished, almost. I haven't even got a quarter left. It's very pricey, but I feel like it's definitely working. The fruit juice. Who doesn't love that? So what I used first in the beginning was vanilla, vegan juice, banana, and then I decided to go for this one. This one's really good because it's actually very, very, it's actually quite high in calories. A glass is about 200 calories plus, but yeah, I like it once in a while because why not? I take creatine every single day. I work out anywhere between three to four times a week. I really work out when I feel like it, when I'm in the mood. I don't go work out if I'm too tired or not because your body needs a lot of rest. I don't eat this crap. Reason I say it's crap, it makes me fart and it gives me the, the, the running tummy. So something new introduced in the Netherlands, it's something that's been not new at all in Germany. It's been like that for a few years, but we have receipts back on little cans. So if you buy like a, a, a can, like a Red Bull can or whatever, right, you get 15 cents back if you deliver it in. Did not know that. Did not know that. So that's new. Let's go with my e-scooter. It's been a while. Please mind the holy mess. And there it is. Oh boy, I don't even know if this thing starts. Let's see if it starts. Oh yes, it does start. How cool. The tires are soft. Just like my... Uh... Well, that's a bit inappropriate, isn't it? <laughs> Whew. I think uh, something I would really think is cool for myself and for the vlogs and shit. If I'd buy a quad. But my dad has warned me that a quad is not like a car or a motorcycle. Apparently very difficult driving a quad. He drives a BMW RS 1200. It's standing right here. I'll show you actually what it looks like. It's the bad beast. It is, oh, it's not the fastest obviously. It's a 2014 R 1200 GS a BMW. He bought it second hand, basically almost brand new. Just like my car which is parked there. Look at that. Oh, I got some really cool plans for my car. I want some stuff on the exterior done, but also like mainly inside. I want some like new lights and stuff. But I'll see what fits on it or not. It's been a while since I've driven this thing. Don't know if I can still do it. All right. Doesn't look too shady. Doesn't look too shabby. The tires are soft, man. Holy crap. Woo! See, and it has that like regenerative thing. When you, when you let go, it breaks. Oh, but it is very refreshing going on here. As you know, it's not legal in the Netherlands unless it's got a license and it's insured. And you need a helmet on them nowadays since the 1st of January 2023. I've noticed a lot here in Zeeland, people just don't give a fuck about putting helmets on their heads. Because I've only seen police three times in seven months here, so you'll be fine with it. Just if you do get caught, well, well there you go, you get fined obviously. <laughs> so an interesting story I thought I'd share with you, the cat's walking there. I caught her two, three days ago eating a rabbit, really fucked up. But yeah, cat's got to survive as well, I suppose. It's a hunter, I mean, what do you expect? He's not a vegan. Yeah, okay, it's definitely not fast due to the fact that the tires are really, really soft, but it goes pretty nice. I mean, look at it. When I bought it, it was obviously in mint condition. It's actually still in very, very nice condition. Been thinking of it recently, obviously, because I got a car to maybe sell it, but I guess, and I feel like once in a while, it's just nice driving this bad thing here on the property, because why not, honestly? It serves pretty much no purpose on the farm. The chicken's kicking. Chickens are, like, all the way back. I showed you in a video a while ago, we moved them from the front to the back, but these are the nice, within, like, summer times that I really, really enjoy. Casa Mau Mau. Casa Mau Mau. Casa Mau Mau. 
Yeah, my little baby. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Ain't that right? This is my favorite, favorite spot to sit. I mean, wow, look at that, right? You get a view like this. I mean, I wake up every single morning from my bedroom. I go open up the blinds and I come and see this. It's immaculate. Kitty agrees with it as well. Oh, this video didn't really have a specific or certain purse purpose yeah person what purpose i just thought i'd show you the trampoline and uh, fuck around a little bit sometimes you know video mustn't be all too serious in this and that sometimes you have to have fun as well but oh i actually want to show you guys something i don't think i ever really showed you the inside so if you wonder like where do we store up the hay in this and that when we have overflow out so like when it's too much we store it in here and it's actually a uh, it's actually really big this. this is basically a second place for a horse to sleep at as you can see so what i normally do is when I'm done, I go fill it up for the next day. So for like tomorrow, for example, when I do them, I know they need a bit of extra hay, so I put that on top. So what I do is I put the hay on top first, and then this stuff is where they sleep on, as you can see. Yes, there is some on the floor, which is not smart because obviously rats and shit might nest in it, but it's actually really, really nice and spacious. It just reminds me so much of a fucking prison. It's like depressing. We don't put the horses in here because we don't like putting them in here because they're out of sight and I mean, you can tell it's it's really big. It's double the size of what they're in now, but it's really not spacious at all. Well, I mean, it's not light at all. It's it's like a cell almost. Don't look weird. We live on a farm, so rats are pretty pretty occasional. We've had rats twice in three months' time now. We had to obviously kill them. So I can understand if you owe rats or you like mice and shit. You may be like, oh, that's sad. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. They disturb my peace. They destroy the crops. They they kill rats as well. They got diseases and shit. I don't want that shit on my fucking property. Ew, get out of here. Yeah, that basically. Would I ever imagine going back, living in the city? Absolutely not. I like visiting the city once in a while, but man, I could never see myself living there anymore. No, man, with all due respect. So yeah, the car is going to stay parked here permanently. Decided to uh, not park it in the garage anymore because obviously my stuff is in there. And I made a whole list of what I wanted with that. My mom said as well, we're going to do a massive extension as well soon, which I didn't thought we were going to do because I don't know. I didn't think of it, but my mom said, oh, maybe we can add this. I said, oh, shit, that'd be cool. But then like my car would probably not fit in the garage. But if I can have a bigger apartment, I'm taking that then. What a pointless video this was. I agree. Just thought I'd show you some funny shit. So see you next time. Nah, doesn't matter that much. I'm going to buy new ones anyways. See you next time.